Hello there, and welcome to the series Basics of Digital Audio Signal Processing and Machine Learning for Audio Using Programming Languages. This series is a From Zero to Hero series. That means that it's not needed any previous background or knowledge in signal processing, programming, and I will go step by step, bottom up, starting from the very basics and going to more difficult concepts, more difficult topics, and also more difficult examples. This series is a very practical way of learning because we will always use some code example as our base, and from there, we will see which DSP or signal processing and machine learning theories is behind this example. And we will also dive into the code and go step by step, line by line to cover all the programming concepts. I am going to use Jupyter Notebooks or Google Colab. And if you're not familiar with Google Colab, there is a tutorial on Google Colab. So this is introduction to Google Colab for research. And these first five are very important and they give you the basics on uh, an overview about Colab, what the cells are, text cells, code cells, later on how to use a GPU for our machine learning examples and how to use external data so you can use some files that are on your computer save files from the Google Colab environments with your computer and the others they become more advanced but these first five I would recommend if you're not familiar with Colab and Jupyter Notebooks they are basically the same this is a course that I assume that there is no programming experience so this is why I chose to use Google Colab so there is no need for installing anything configuring almost anything and once you have a basic foundations on Python and other programming languages we are going to use, you can install locally in your machine and do how you want. I will start using Python because I believe that Python is an um, easy programming language to learn, much easier than some other uh, languages. It is also very well documented and there are a lot of examples out there. It is um, basically a lingua franca for machine learning. So there are in deep learning, there are a lot of excellent libraries and frameworks that you can use in Python. But of course, when you're talking about digital audio signal processing, and especially not in this course, but if you want to dive into the real time DSP, then one of the most important languages out there for processors is C and C++. And if you want to uh, make some uh, mobile applications, then I would cover uh, maybe Android and a bit of Java. So this is the idea for the series. I will see how it goes. The more people are interesting, the more tutorials I will make. But I will start very simple. So. The way this series is uh, constructed, there will be always three parts. There will be a code example, a theory part that can be DSP or machine learning, and the code explanation. So at the code example, I will just go through the code from a very superficial level, basically just telling what the code is doing, what uh, we want to achieve with this code. So in this case, First example will be loading and playing back a WAV file. And then from this code, there are some important theory parts that we can take a look and we have to take a look to understand what we want to achieve with this code. So then we will go into the DSP theory parts that are related to this code example. So we'll cover, for example, in this case, sampling. And then we will discuss the theory that will help us to understand the code and also to have um, build our funda foundations in DSP and machine learning. 
And finally, I will go step by step, line by line, going through all the lines and the variables and functions and everything which is used in this code, giving explanations about so we will cover data types, functions, classes, how to import packages, what is a package, what is a Python module, what are... Um, so basically I will go through, for example, uh, there's this function print, and then somewhere here we will see that we'll talk about the print functions. Have in mind that we will have to go back and forth many times because this is a practical way, so we have our code and we will discuss what this code is and then we will have another piece of code. So maybe we will use a string in the first code, but we'll just talk about Python strings, not covering all the details because there are functions, modules and classes, objects that they have hundreds and thousands of things inside methods and possibilities how to use and then we will come to them when they appear in our code examples. The same for the theoretical part. So we see here that there are things like sample rate that we need to understand what it is. Then we cover something here about sampling but have in mind that some concepts by itself it's already very vast and we can do a complete series just on sampling in audio to digital or digital to audio conversion. In fact, there are many uh, subjects there in university that deals. So you take one semester just learning about sampling in audio to digital or digital to um, audio conversions or interface electronics that you go from one domain to another. So because of that, we will cover topics and we may have to come back to them when we're doing another example and it's needed to understand for example we will start with sampling but then later in the future we need to go back and see about sampling theorem and uh, everything is uh, more or less related so we will have to go back and forth from topic to topic but the main idea is that we have a code example we look at this code example from a very superficial high level way and then we will see here try to see what concepts and theories in terms of signal processing and machine learning for audio are needed to and we can uh, talk about then we will have the theory and we will go through the code i designed this uh, series in a way that if you are only interested in learning python you can skip the DSP machine learning theory and if you're only interested in DSP theory and you already program in Python or in other programming language that we may use you can just keep the code explanation and just look at the DSP theory and it's very practical because we always start from an example and we take the theory and we take the programming part from this example so as I mentioned before I start with Python, later on I'll try to introduce uh, different programming languages and have in mind that in the beginning there will be much more about Python than the, the theoretical DSP because to run different examples we need to have a foundation in Python. So first we will have to talk about the basics but later on when you are more experienced we will uh, have more theory and less Python, especially when we start to using libraries and functions that with one line of code you can already do a, a Fourier transform, for example. So we will talk about the theory behind the Fourier transform, but there is not much to talk about the Python part as we just do import some package and from that package you use put Fourier transform or your inputs and it will give you the Fourier transform. But this is for next tutorials. This, this one here, it was just an introduction. And I hope to see you in future tutorials and episodes on this series.